The following are used for the deep tendon reflexes. A biceps reflex is elicited by striking the biceps tendon of the flexed elbow. The examiner supports the forearm with one arm while placing the thumb against the tendon and striking the thumb with a reflex hammer. A normal response is flexion of the elbow and contraction of the biceps. Brachioradialis reflex is observed by striking the brachioradialis tendon directly with a hammer when the patient's arm is relaxed. The reflex should cause slight wrist extension and or radial deviation, supination, and slight elbow flexion. For the triceps reflex, flex the patient's arm to a 90 degree angle and position in front of the chest. Then, abduct the patient's arm and flex it at the elbow. Support the arm with your non-dominant hand. Identify the triceps tendon by palpating 2.5 to 5 cm above the elbow. A normal response is contraction of triceps with extension of the elbow. For the patellar or quadriceps reflex, have your patient seated with their legs dangling over the chair, table, or bed. Strike the tendon directly below the patella. A normal response is contraction of the quadriceps muscle with extension of the knee. The ankle jerk reflex, also known as the Achilles reflex, occurs when the Achilles tendon is tapped while the foot is dorsiflexed. It is a type of stretch reflex that tests the function of the gastrocnemius muscle and the nerve that supplies it. A positive result would be plantar flexion of the foot.